Hello everyone and welcome to Don't Be Bored. Today I'm going through another top five list and this time I'm going through games that I think could do with an app. I'm not fussed by an introduction of technology as long as it adds something cool. And I think, well, there's five games that could really do with an app. So let's jump into the list. Number five is Star Wars Unlimited, though you could apply this same logic because it's more of a issue I have with a whole genre of games. You could apply it to basically any sort of collectible card game, trading card game, anything with lots of keywords. I'm picking Star Wars Unlimited because it's the latest game with keywords that I've been playing a lot, but you could say Mind Bug, Magic the Gathering, any of those as well. It would be really cool if there was an app that you could scan a card and it just give you a bit more details. Certainly when there's plenty of keywords going on, and there's not too many yet in Star Wars Unlimited, but with future sets coming out, I'm sure new keywords and stuff will be added. It would be great if there was an app that you could just scan that and it would give you a description of what those keywords meant and just sort of explain the cards. I think that would really help brand new players or noobs like myself just get into the game because sometimes I play other games. It's not the sort of game that I'm just going to play religiously, unlike others that I think they'll play that and that'll be like their main game. They'll play that all the time. It's a game that I'll go to now and again and therefore I can sometimes forget what that keyword means and an app could really help with that. Anyway, I say Star Wars Unlimited, but it's just the latest example of a game with lots of keywords that could do with an app. Because, well, the reminder sheets or cards, well, they can get lost, but an app can always be up to date and useful. Number four is Just One, a fantastic party game where one player is the guesser. They show a card and say, right, there's, num there's five uh, words on it. And you go, right, number two, everyone writes on their little plinth a word to do with that word, trying to hint towards it effectively. Let's say the word is tree. Maybe I write leaf. Someone else writes root. Someone writes plant. And someone else also writes plant. Well, the duplicated answers are rubbed off and then everyone only sees the answers that have been written just once, or just one, hence the name of the game. Now, I think it'd be really cool if there was an app that you could use that would just help you randomize those cards and add a greater number of cards into the mix. Yeah, there's a huge number of cards in the box, but eventually you do go through them and you start to see sort of numbers, um, especially if someone always says number two, there's a higher chance that they're going to pick a word that's been done before, probably by them saying it in a previous game. I don't necessarily think Just One has a huge issue with a lack of cards, but it would be cool if there was an app to always generate you a different word then you wouldn't need to sort of always say, oh, number three, number two. It could just generate you one word that everyone sort of hints towards. Might be cool, might not be. Let me, let me know in the comments if you think that's a terrible idea. Number three is another game that could be a bit more generic, but I'm going to say Wits and Wages. But you could extend this to pretty much any game that has trivia in it and those trivia questions because eventually you do go through the deck. A question based app where even if you had to pay an extra pound for another thousand questions or something, you know, that'd be really cool and a cool way to update games and expand upon them. I find a lot of the time, once you've gone through the question sets for a game like Wits and Wages, because the questions are quite weird and wonderful, like, you know, uh, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? That's a bad example of how many windows does Buckingham Palace have? different things like that and it's like sometimes that number just roughly sticks in your head you might not get the exact number and you probably won't in wits and wages but in some trivia games when they're, they're really odd questions the answer can just stick in your head so the ability for an app to have new questions i think that would be really cool and just sort of extend the life of some of these games without you having to buy like a new version or an expansion pack of just cards which they often don't do. But yeah, I say Wits and Wages just because it's one of my favourite sort of trivery, tr trivia filled games. But any of that style could do with an app with unlimited questions. 
Number two is a fantastically cool game that really is let down by the scoring, and that's Next Station London. Now, you could, I think, of also maybe put, say, like Cascadia here, but it's one of those style games that feels very much an entry game, but at the end of the game, there's just a bit of scoring. Um, so I think Next Station London is particularly bad at it, where you have to go through all of your sort of connected stations and work out, is this, is this two lines connected, three lines connected, four lines connected, uh, what sort of spaces are connected here, what is the longest lines, all that sort of stuff. You've got plenty of stuff at the end of the game scoring-wise to go over. And if you had an app that you could just hover over and it look and it could calculate those for you instantly, oh, that would be so nice. And just, well, cut away a really sort of lacklustre bit of the experience. I really do recommend playing Next Station London or now Tokyo as well, but both of them I would sort of go into it and say, you're going to play for 15 minutes and then maybe score for five. And I think that ratio is a little bit too much for me. It's still a fun game. I really do recommend playing it. The scoring just lets it down a little bit. Certainly for your first couple of plays where you're not 100%. But, you know, Next Station London with an app where you could just, it could do your pointing for you. That would be fantastic. And last but not least, a game that would be really cool to have an app would be Zombie Side. So you don't have to do some of that stuff with drawing from decks. You could just tap a button and it says, right, that one over there needs four walkers. This one over here needs two runners or, or whatever, that style of thing. And maybe find, probably couldn't do it for finding items and stuff like that because you need the actual physical card. But it would just maybe speed some of the things up. It could even allow you to sort of step over the edge of the board and add a new board there so you could have like explorable maps. That would just be something a bit different and a bit cool. And like I say, if you could remove one of those decks of cards like the spawning deck in Zombie Side, so you don't have to be like, all right, let's flip this card over now, work out what's spawning. It could just tell you based on what level you're at. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe just streamline a bit of a process there. But not everyone would want an app added to that game and it might be clunky, it might not speed things up, but it could do. So let's say Zombie Side as another game that could do with an app. Let me know if you agree with these decisions or the suggestions that these games should have an app and what game do you really think could do with an app, be that for speeding scoring up or unlimited questions let us know in the comment section below until next time have an app filled good day